Hey crafty cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica. Today is a very simple video. I wanted to open up this new postcard set that I got from Amazon. I'll have the link down below, Amazon affiliate link of course. Um, but yeah, as you guys know, I get postcards every month uh, for my Patreon members. And if you're new, maybe you don't know, but I do have a Patreon and I send um, mail to my Patreon members every single month. And that does include a postcard and then handmade items. But yeah, you guys have always enjoyed seeing these packs. So this one is all about birds and I just thought it was appropriate for spring. It's called Sibley Backyard Birding Postcards. It's a hundred packs. So right off the bat, I will say these ones feel a little bit thinner than the rest, but they're not, it, it's, I would say it's like a cardstock feel, but what I like about it already is that it's matte. I find these to be a little bit easier um, to use in junk journals. Okay, so it looks like each one so far has two different birds. Um, maybe it's, the, oh wait, sorry. So it has the bird name down here, adult female, adult male. Okay, that's cool. So when I saw these, um, I've been making like some little uh, specimen cards and I felt like these would be really cool for like a specimen type card feel. I don't know, just because it has the name of the bird and then it has like the two different uh, male and female. So yeah, it has the type down here, but we'll just go through together and see what we're working with. I think these would be really cute in a journal, especially like a botanical type journal, or maybe you are someone who's wanting to make an actual bird journal. And uh, and that, and then if that's the case, you might want a whole pack of these. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. I like the, the ones that have a bit more color, but at the same time, it's nice that there's a lot of neutral ones in here. And I'm just saying that from a standpoint of using these in a journal, but uh, yeah. I'm trying to think what I wanna do for next month. Um, I have bought so many postcards, it's crazy to me that I haven't run out of ideas, but I am feeling a bit stuck because I was already thinking uh, next month. I am hoping to do more of a bohemian themed monthly mail and so maybe I can find something along those lines for a postcard set. So these are definitely fun. How are you guys doing? I am starting to feel a little bit more settled in my new house. If you didn't know, I, we just moved and so now I have a craft studio and there's still quite a bit more work to do here but you know, it's it's coming along and I'm able to start doing a little bit of work. I have this new craft table island that I um, will be using for filming and just doing different projects on. It's pretty tall, so uh, for me that works good, but I did just order a stool so that I can sit, because it is pretty tall. It's taller than what I'm used to. It's definitely better for my posture, but I'm not quite used to it yet. And so for filming, it's a bit weird, but I have a few desks in here as well, so I can always change it up, but I don't like to sit and film or craft. How about you guys? What do you like to do? Yeah, but hopefully my Patreon members enjoy this month's postcard. And like I said, I'm making actually some little specimen card style um, craft. Here, I'll show you one. These ones have butterflies, but I might do some with like um, florals or other things. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe leaves and things like that. So I think it'll go really well together. And then I'm not sure what else I'm making for the month, but I have quite a few ideas. So I'm excited to see it all come together. I think this month will be really fun. There. So our new house we live right next to like two people that have large dogs and they're outside 24 7 and they're like always barking so <laughs> hopefully hopefully that's not too much of an issue for filming canada goose 
a lot of times my dog barks back, but luckily right now he's sleeping, so. These are definitely fun. I like these. I um, wish I could find more postcard sets that were matte, but I feel like most of them are pretty glossy. Yeah, I think these would make a really cute um, junk journal, like, title page, not title page, um, cover. <laughs> and if you haven't seen my video on five ways to use postcards and you're, you're looking at these thinking, okay, these are fun, but what am I going to do with all of those? Well, I have a video called five ways to use postcards in your journals. And you can get some ideas from that. I will try to link it below for you guys. Owls. Owls are so cool. My friend actually just posted a picture on her Facebook that she saw one in her yard. And they are just, I don't know, something about them is so magical. How cute is he? He has a little hairdo. A hairdo. A woody pecker. Oh my gosh, growing up my mom <laughs> drew woody woodpecker um, over and over. And it's just so, so funny because it was like the one thing <laughs> that she drew all the time. And so I have so many childhood like journals where she drew me a woody woodpecker and uh that reminds me when i was moving i just kind of came across all my old journals and i'm saying old from when i was like a teenager oh my gosh they are funny to read through i i only read a few pages but it's uh definitely i'm glad that i have those because it's just funny to read back on and man i was i was a quite the teenager So anyways, this is the pack. It looks like everyone has, um, no, there, it doesn't look like there's any duplicates. And I buy these 100 packs quite often and they don't usually have a duplicate. So it's usually all different 100 uh, themes. But yeah, if you have come across any postcards that you think would be good for Bohemian style, let me know. Or if you can think of something, I guess I can like, I can just, it's easy to search on Amazon th the different themes, but I might have to get creative because I don't know if they'll have a Bohemian theme postcard set. So I might have to find something that goes well with that. Like I feel like some kind of a art, like uh, what am I trying to say? Oh gosh, I'm thinking it, mandalas. Mandala, is that how you say it? Something with the, those types of shapes would work really well. I don't know, I have to, I'll have to look, but anyways, guys, like I said, this is just a quick, simple video. While I'm getting back into filming, I'll have a few of these videos because I have so many things that came in the mail while we were moving and I've been waiting to open them on camera to share with you guys. So, um, I promise we will be getting back into crafting very soon. Um, but for now we have some fun haul uh, videos. And I will see you guys in the next video, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!